Oh, Gears, how you love to disappoint me. And let me set the record straight. I am a huge Gears fan. Gears of War 3 shaped the way I look at multiplayer games forever. I spent well over $300 on plastic replicas of the Lancer and the Retro Lancer and the Pop Vinyls and the Nika action figures and the Fathead stickers in my wall. Trust me when I tell you I love Gears of War, but I absolutely hate the grind that the Coalition has put in place on Gears of War 4. I love playing multiplayer for the sake of loving multiplayer, but it would be so nice if I could get rewarded just a smidge as a player because I do not feel like I am getting that right now. Microtransactions are in place in this game. I do not mind paying, knowing that it's going to support the eSport tournament, knowing that it's going to make other players enter the competitive realm. I do not mind paying for that. That is a premium that I solely take upon myself. However, it should be better supplemented with the in-game credit system. And right now, the way that you earn unlocks and the way that you progress is extremely broken. If you're one of those players who says, I don't care about any of the cosmetic stuff, I just want to enjoy the game and play it, that's fine on multiplayer with quick match or something like King of the Hill. But if you are playing on horde mode, you have to level up your character. You have to get better perks because you will have a very difficult time beating horde mode on the higher difficulties with a stock kit, with your stock abilities. You're going to need to supplement your abilities, and the way to do it is with cards. And the best way to earn cards, unless you just want to throw money at the game, which, hey, go right ahead, is to use the credit system. And what ends up happening is you put money in the, you know, you, you put time into the game, you earn credits, and you cash in your credits for packs. And there are a slew of packs. Horde pack, Operations pack, Elite pack, and now Seasonal packs, the UIR pack, and the Gearsmas pack. If you want a new character, you have to get the Elite pack. It runs 3,500 credits for five cards. And there is no guarantee that you're going to get a new character. You may get an exotic skin, like I did here, that only gives you a skin for that particular weapon. If you don't like that weapon, or you don't like that skin, too bad, that's what you got. Now you could always scrap your cards, and earn scrap that you can in turn cash in for new cards. But the scrap system is just as big as a grind as everything else. And when you unlock something, they don't remove it from your pool to buy again. In other words, there's a chance you could keep getting that same card over and over and over and over again. And there's absolutely nothing you can do about it other than play and continue. I wanted to show you guys this quick end of a match. You saw all the things that popped on my screen. I had a pretty decent match. I had a pretty decent score. I was actually second place on our team on this dodgeball map. Look at the rewards that I get for this. Now, this map took, um, I want to say, maybe six or seven minutes. So it's not an insane amount of time to compete. But still, second place overall out of 10 players, my match score netted me only 22 credits, which is incredibly low. Incredibly low. Considering that if I want an elite pack, it's going to cost me 30 500 credits. Don't get me started on the UIR pack right now, which is running at 4,400 credits. <laughs> As you guys can see, this becomes an insane grind. The Coalition has had a little over two months to revamp the system. They've said, hey, we understand. We're going to increase the amount of credits you're going to get. We're going to decrease the amount of the Elite Pack, which initially was 4,000 credits, which now has been dropped to 3,500. We're going to do these things to make it better, but it's still not enough. And with new customizations coming constantly, 
whether it is esports team, which right now it can only be purchased with real money, whether it's the Gears Miss set with all the festive holiday ugly sweaters and crazy uh, gun, that kind of, you know, gun skins and that sort of thing, or who knows what's next, Valentine's Day, Celebration of Gears, who knows? There are so many different things that this game is going to continue to customize, and I appreciate that just like Halo 5 has done, where they've added a slew of new stuff. There's always a reason to come back. There's always a reason to compete, to get more stuff, to customize your character, to continue to have fun. It makes the game more fun. It lets you express yourself, and it makes the look not as stagnant. However, it is such a grind to do it. It really takes away from some of the fun and magic of the game. And you feel like you're forced to spend money constantly in order to get stuff. This UIR pack, five cards, 4,400 credits. That is a ridiculous amount of money for five cards, which may or may not even get you what you want. Maybe duplicates, which gives you scrap, which may or may not be enough for you to scrap and get something that you actually want. I am pleading with you guys at the Coalition, fix your game make the game less grindy let us enjoy all the cool things that you have drop the stupid scrap system once a card has been unlocked remove it from our pool so that we have a chance at least of knowing that over time if we grind we will eventually complete the set every other game that has this system in place does this except you guys and if you look at the risk and reward with the scrap system it's a total crapshoot, and it is so frustrating when you finally save up enough credits for a chance at a skin or something you don't have, and instead of getting something new, you get a duplicate, and it ruins the fun of the game, and it makes everything miserable. Nobody likes this. Nobody's saying, hey, this is great, guys. Thanks for screwing us, <laughs> because that is what is happening. I will still play your game. I will still support your product. I will still grind away because it's fun to play. But I'm only going to do so with the three or four characters that I got at launch because every time I try my chance at an elite pack, I end up getting something stupid that I will never use for a skin that I don't want or for a weapon that I don't need and I won't get the stuff that I want. And I don't think I am being out of the realm of saying how frustrating I am when you see the forums blowing up about this. The UIR pack has brought this into the forefront once again. It is broken. Please, I beg you, beg you Rod Ferguson. I beg you, Coalition. Fix your shit. As always, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Get out there and play some Gears. Let them know that you are not happy, but support this game because it's amazing, despite the fact that you're going to be stuck with garbage cards. Until next time, I will see you guys on the other side.